All right. Good morning, McKnight. Hi, Dr. Shu. Hi, Mrs. Hudson. It feels like it's been so long. I know, but man, what an awesome weekend. I hope everyone got to be outside and enjoying the warm weather. Did you have a good weekend? It was beautiful out, nice and hot. It felt like summer was finally here. Yes, the countdown is on. Only a few more days of remote learning. So I know moms and dads and students are just as happy about that. But today is Wednesday, May 27th, and we have a new pledge from Nicholas, Noah, and Rylan in Scout 279. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, boys. Well, Addie's joining us today, Dr. Shoot, because... Oh, oh, Addie, how are you today? How are you? Good. She used this product a lot over the weekend, and it's a perfect day. Today is... What day is it, Addie? National Sunscreen. Tell the boys and girls. National Sunscreen Day. National Sunscreen Day. And so important, Mrs. Hudson. Yep, if you're not wearing your hat, then you should be wearing your sunscreen. Did you use sunscreen this weekend? Did I do a good job? Did we miss any spots? No, I missed a little bit on my neck. Just a little bit, but we're okay. We're okay. Did you use your sunscreen this weekend? Always. I remember when I was little, one time I forgot to put it on my shoulders oh. and it was so red and so painful that I remember every time if I'm going outside to the pool or to play, you gotta put sunscreen on. Absolutely. That was a hard lesson to learn. Well, watch this quick video about why you should wear sunscreen. It's summer! It's time for me and Squeaks to get out our swimsuits, our cool shades, and head outside for some fun in the sun. But I need to make some smart choices before we go outside. I need to wear sunscreen because I don't want to end up getting a sunburn. Squeaks doesn't need to worry about getting a sunburn since he's a robot. But we humans can get a sunburn when we stay out in the sun too long and don't protect our skin. Even though the rays of the sun feel nice and warm and are important for all kinds of life on Earth, some of the rays from the sun's light can actually harm our skin. Now, our skin does have something in it that helps to protect it from these harmful rays. But sometimes, like when you're outside all day, that's not enough. If too many of these rays reach your skin, your skin can become damaged or hurt. When skin becomes damaged, the body does its best to fix it as soon as possible. It does this by sending more blood to the damaged area, which causes the skin there to get pink or red and feel warm when you touch it. The damaged area can feel really sore, and some of the skin can also peel off, and these are all signs of a sunburn. There are lots of things that can affect whether you get a sunburn or not. People with lighter skin sunburn more easily, and spending more time outside can also lead to more of a sunburn. But anyone can get a sunburn. Luckily, there are plenty of different things that we can do to keep from getting one. For example, wearing clothes that cover our skin and completely block the sun's light can keep those harmful rays from getting to the skin on our bodies. And wearing a hat can keep those rays from causing a sunburn on our heads. We can also try to spend less time in the sun when its rays are brightest. That's usually between 10 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon. But one of the easiest things that we can do is to wear sunscreen. Sunscreen can be a lotion, a cream, or a spray. But no matter what kind of sunscreen you use, it keeps some of the sun's rays from getting to your skin and can help stop a sunburn. Most sunscreens work by either soaking up those harmful rays, kind of like a sponge, or by reflecting them, kind of like a mirror. Most experts say that you you should put sunscreen on at least 10 minutes before you go outside and you should put on lots of it. It's a good idea to get some help putting on sunscreen, especially in places that are kind of hard to reach, like all over your back. And pay special attention to places you might not think about, like your ears, the backs of your legs, and the back of your neck. And once you get your sunscreen on, you should make sure you keep it on. It's a great idea to take a break every few hours and put on more sunscreen, especially if you're running around and getting sweaty or you're swimming at the pool or at the beach. So enjoy your time in the sun this summer, but don't forget to wear your sunscreen. Thanks for joining us on SciShow Kids. If you want to keep learning and having fun with Squeaks and me, click the red subscribe button and we'll see you next time here at the fort. That video was very informative. We know how important sunscreen is and hopefully you don't have to learn a lesson like Dr. Shoot about making sure to wear the sunscreen because you now learn, you now know the importance. That's good stuff. We have a couple birthdays today, Mrs.
Hudson. All right. Happy birthday to Colin and KB and Jake and 4E. We hope you have a great birthday. And we also want to recognize Logan and KB. He sent us this awesome picture of him wearing his red nose to celebrate National Red Nose Day. Patty <laughs> wants to tell everyone what her favorite sunscreen was. What was your favorite sunscreen? This, which one? You like that one? Addie doesn't like the spray ones because it's cold. Yeah, and what I found in, in our family, the spray ones, we don't think work as well as the mm. lotion where you have to rub it in. That's a good experiment, but not really. Boys and girls, let's not try it out. Just make sure you put no, that out. don't out. try that <laughs> All right, we have a couple school updates. Remember to make sure you do your Tiger ID and your attendance by 1.30. And, and remember, all the outdoor facilities are open, but remember, no organized activities. You still have to practice social distancing and McKnight, and everything attached to McKnight is still closed because of construction. And again, today is another day where the district will be distributing uh, meals. Please check out this picture with all the information. And like we said earlier, the last day of school for students will now be on June 5th. So next Friday is the last day for kids. Yep. And fifth grade families, you should have received an email yesterday from the PFA asking you to complete the Google form for those signature t-shirts. Thanks again to the PFA for their support of those t-shirts. Please make sure you fill those in as soon as possible. You know what I was thinking? I'm thinking about the sun, thinking about all these germs that have been floating around. I was wondering, can the sun help kill the germs? Hmm. What do That's you think, like Eddie? a great wonder of the day. And that is our Wonderopolis, so make sure you check it out. Now, this next announcement and this next challenge, I hope every kid, every parent, every new McKnight will, it's just, I can barely say it. This, oh, is so know, this makes me so sad. I cried so many <laughs> times when I hear this and when I realize this, it's one of the saddest days ever at McKnight. Mrs. Mazza is retiring. Our amazing, wonderful secretary is retiring and as a staff, we've been doing all kinds of things and a bunch of things she doesn't even know about yet. And um, to help celebrate her, let her know how much we all love her. But we want to give you all the opportunity to do the same. So there will be a Google form attached to the announcements for the next three days if you want to send Mrs. Maz a short message or draw her a picture or thank her. So please feel free to share that form to maybe uh, anyone in the community that may have been touched with Mrs. Massa. She's so great. We she love is you. The absolute best. And her last day will be the end of June. So we have a little bit of time, but it doesn't feel like nearly enough. Never. All right, Mr. Z is coming through again. We have his weekly trivia, so make sure you check it out. I know he is getting pretty darn fancy with that. He is getting so yep. tech savvy. I'm impressed with Mr. Z. Yeah, very impressed. Mr. Heckman better watch out. I think he's coming for him. I think so. And then again, Mrs. Atwood and Ms. Jackson would like to feature some of our amazing artwork from our amazing artist at McKnight. We would like to feature the artwork of Anti, Ellie, Juliana, Layla, Lila, Maddie, Scarlett, and Silas. Check out this amazing, their amazing work. Great job. And we're continuing to recognize our fifth graders. Remember asking them those three questions, the advice that you would give to future students at McKnight, your favorite memory from McKnight, and what are you most excited about in middle school? Today we are featuring Jenna, Jane, Adair, Nathan, Joel, and Brent.
We are so proud of you and we cannot wait to see what the future holds. All right, Dr. Shoot, we figured we go with our sun theme and here is a book about the sun. It's called The Sun is My Favorite Star. So be sure to check that out. We hope everyone has a wonderful Wednesday and we'll see you on Thursday. Bye, McKnight. Bye, McKnight. Wear your sunscreen. <laughs>